so much blood. This prowler is ill of wounded. Captain of the Oz! Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about the Bloodhound lore and story quest that is going to be coming up with the rare skin you'll be able to earn, what to expect, and a bunch more because there is a ton of cool stuff coming with this. So let's just dive right into it. So some of you may have noticed that when you were doing the Evolution Collection event patch that there was a lot of bugs going on and when you loaded into the game while it was bugged, there was actually something there listed as View Story Tracker. Now Shrugtall did let us know that the content dates for this season does include a Bloodhound story event that will start on September 28th, and that is what that story tracker is for. Now, some key information that we have from this image that was data mined is that the White Raven is going to play a significant role. Along with that, it has to do with World's Edge being destroyed by Hammond. As you can see in the background, the skybox is now back to the red form. Please don't make that a permanent feature respawn, please. Now, someone who leaks actually found some images that give us a description of the event, and it is called Niflheim Hunter, and the description goes like this. In a battle for their very soul, Bloodhound traveled to an otherworldly realm of mist to either defeat or be defeated by these ethereal manifestations of their sins. Sins they believed were the reason for Talos' impending destruction, and Talos is the planet where World's Edge is located. Also, cool little side note, for completing the story event, you will get this awesome Bloodhound skin. It is only a rare, but I honestly think it looks really cool, but that is a reward you can be looking forward to getting. Now the voice actor at the beginning of the season actually made a reference to what is going on, saying, I remember recording that scream. Didn't realize they'd sneak it into the gameplay trailer as well. Get ready to have a lot of Bloodhound feelings this season, I'm just saying. And someone who leaks also found some really cool images in the file that connect to the Bloodhound story event, and it's called the Aether. And what's important to know is that though Aether is popularized in Greek mythology, it does have a meaning in Norse mythology as well. It actually means Godheim, which is actually as you may know it, Asgard. And you may be looking at these images and saying, well, this doesn't look like Asgard, this looks like a barren wasteland, and I only have one word for you with everything that's going on in World's Edge and Talos being destroyed. Ragnarok. At least that's my theory. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and show some very heavy spoiler stuff. If you do not want any spoilers, if you do not want what is going on with the Bloodhound story to be ruined for you or to be completely surprised, turn away now. This is your spoiler warning. This information doesn't come from a data miner. It comes from someone who hacked the game and got a early look at what's going on. Once again, spoiler warning. I don't wanna ruin anyone's experience with the story. If you want to avoid it, do not watch past this point. But like I said, this is all very heavy heavily spoiler-ish, so stay away from this if you want. However, it doesn't give us a clear indication of what's gonna happen. This looks to be, if anything to me, a form of the PVE comics that we got in season five where we went into a certain environment. These look like different locations that once we collect the items in the event that we will be able to go into and uncover what the mystery here is. So overall, the story looks to be really, really cool. I cannot wait to see how it all plays out and what everything that's been leaked actually ends up being. Let me know down in the comments below how hyped you are for this little bit of lore to come into the game, what you think is going to happen to World's Edge, how it ties into Tropic Island, and so much more. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.